At the Blockchain Innovation Conference 2019, Big 19, Franz Kempen will also be active. He was the moderator for the technical track last year. And last year you also came with the Koopmans case, uh, that every car got a digital uh, passport. How is that case doing? Well, after last year, uh, after Jon Kuiper presented at your Blockchain Innovation Conference, mm -hmm. he basically quit his job and started as CEO, as CEO of uh, Koopman yeah. and started a consortium um, which is now active and they're expanding let's say on a pure European wide scale on this blockchain platform to build a car transportation platform yeah. so it's and, and, an ide and a car identification platform right on yeah. the blockchain so he will present his uh, his um, his experiences in the uh, on the conference okay Frans uh, batteries is one of the most important uh, products we're going to use now and in the future what have you been doing in that arena I've been working in the past year for the clean battery alliance within the world economic forum mm -hmm. to build a platform basically to get a provenance view on how the battery is produced Okay, so we want to have a uh, supply chain which is clean. But I mean, that is in very difficult countries with huge monopolies. How do you ever, you know, I mean, I can say that the, the promise of a blockchain is really good, but why would all these countries and companies work together to make a clean battery uh, transparency supply chain? Well, in the end, it's all about the end customer. The end customer is demanding that all the materials are sourced ethically. Mm -hmm. So they demand to the miners and to the traders and the other companies in the entire supply chain upstream mm -hmm. that they have transparency and visibility where the goods come from. Yeah, yeah. So if VM, uh, VW uh, orders 50 billion in batteries, they want to make sure that the cobalt which is in those batteries is really mined uh, in a clean way. Yeah, exactly. So there's a big push from downstream companies like Tesla, like Volkswagen, Daimler, which has a huge increase in future for electric cars, mm -hmm. so also batteries. Huge push towards the upstream companies to make sure that their provenance is in place and the human rights are observed. Okay, and so you're going to basically, and one of your customers is going to present how that uh, clean battery alliance, how it's working, and how we're going to get clean cobalt. Well, it, it, it's all about supply chain transparency. So we're looking now for a case for a client to present how uh, the lessons learned are on that domain. Okay. So except for uh, uh, IBM building all kinds of platforms for uh, customers, you also build your own blockchain platform, right? What, what, what does it do? Yeah, we're building several platforms in the entire space. One platform we just announced is Worldwire. Worldwire is a platform which enables uh, low-cost cross-border payments. So banks uh, can uh, support this platform, can participate in this platform and provide service on top of this platform. Yeah, so you basically provide money transfer as a service and the banks are your clients who are going to provide it to uh, the end customer. What's going to be the advantage for the end customer? Lower transaction cost, almost uh, minimal mm -hmm. and instant payment. So we'll see if you can uh, if you can make that work and if it's really cheaper because there's a lot of competition in that uh, arena, and and then uh, you also did that actually also with food security, right? You also build a platform which you know companies, big companies are using, which like what? Yes, like Nestle, Unilever, Walmart, many big companies are also uh, having services yeah. on the Food Trust platform. Yeah. And Foodtrust is the same platform like Worldwire. We build this platform so big companies can make use of it. Okay, so that's a good case. It doesn't matter if we have clothes, if we have cobalt, or if we have food. We want to make sure that it is uh, trustable, that we can trust it, and that it's produced ethical. Now, we have an avalanche of, uh, of real practical applications at Big19, uh, at all kinds of uh, different industries. And lots of companies need to work together in building, that bl uh, building those blockchain uh, alliances. Um, what has your experience been in that uh, department? Well, it's not about the technology, basically. I mean, blockchain technology is still uh, evolving, right? I mean, we have a lot of things uh, moving forward in the, the technology, yeah. but it's about consortium build. That's the biggest challenge of many companies on this domain. Mm -hmm. So how to attract participants on the platform, mm -hmm. working together with competition, how to monetize your platform, who is going to earn what, mm -hmm how to create an incentive model so that a lot of participants are incentivized to go into your platform, who will bear the cost, etc. What are the IP rights? Yeah. So many elements are on this yeah. consortium. How do you build a company around a blockchain uh, solution, uh, actually? And that there can be d lots of different models and you're going to talk about this. There's one, uh, one person in IBM which is very experienced in building consortiums. Yeah, so with building consortia, 
around the world we have created a lot of experience mm -hmm. we did a lot of mistakes as well and we learned from that yeah. so it's a new domain and in the entire world so there's one person in ibm who we will invite here to demonstrate what the different options are for companies to build a consortium model so this is all going to happen at the blockchain innovation conference big19.com on june the 7th and it's going to be uh, taking place at the headquarters of abm embro uh, in amsterdam see you there